Good morning, Sycamore Junior High. Now over to Kendall for the date. Hello, I'm Annabelle, and this is Kendall, and we're here with your date. Today is Thursday, February 29. Welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Krish. And hello, I'm Henry. We're so excited to be here on the daily video announcements. Now let's all please stand, place our hands over our hearts, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. National, National Day. Day! Today is National Leap Day. Did you know that Leap Day only comes every four years? So today is Leap Day. Here's five things you may not know about Leap Day. The extra day added to every fourth year is today, serving as a so subtle reminder that even mm -hmm. something as seemingly regular and simple as the calendar can be more complicated than we think. Now here's five things you may not know about Leap Day. Many ancient calendars had entire leap months. Many calendars, including Hebrew, Chinese, and Buddhist calendars, are lunisolar, which means their dates indicate the position of the moon, as well as the position of the earth relative to the sun. Second, Julius Caesar introduced Leap Day, which helps form the Egyptian Caesar reordered the Roman calendar, giving us the blueprint off of which most of the world still operates to this day. But their math was a little off. By the 16th century, scholars had noticed that time was still slipping. Caesar's calculation that a year lasted 365.25 days was close, but still overestimated the solar year by 11 minutes. The introduction of the Gregorian calendar marked the last change to the Western calendar as we know it today. Experts note the Gregorian calculation of a solar year is 365.2425 days. It's still not perfect, and thus, another correction will be necessary. Thankfully, the Gregorian calendar is only off by about one day every 3,030 uh, 3, years, so mankind has some time before this becomes a problem. Leap Day is often associated with marriage, proposals, and flipping traditional gender roles. Yes, curiously, many Leap Day customs have revolved around romance, romance and marriage. And fifth. The fifth thing, as we probably didn't know, is people born on Leap Day are called Leaplings. There are only about 5 million people in the entire world who were born on February 29th, with the odds of being born on Leap Day standing about 1 in 1,461. Robotics. Robotics has a meeting next Monday, March 4th, after school un until 4.30 in room 1101. Please check your email for the... Juniper's team survey for from Arna to complete by this Saturday. Again, both FTC robotics teams has a combined meeting after school in room 1101 on Monday, March 4th, until 4:30 p.m. to work out to work on robotic outreach projects for FLL teams. See Ms. Jarvis for questions. The district art show is this weekend. Participate in our final. Spirit Day Wear. Tomorrow is Wearable Art Friday on March 1st. Character, Character Awards. Awards! Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern and Mr. Rodriguez here to do this week's Character Awards, but before we do that, you know, it's been pretty nice weather this week, or it's been kind of up and down, but definitely sure. have had some spring temperatures, which makes us start to think about something very exciting that will happen later this year, which is 8th grade day. 8th grade day. Yeah, we, we had a blast last year. Always. At 8th grade day. Always. I think we cooked up about 500 burgers and dogs, if I'm not mistaken. They, I, was that us they, last year? They, they get to swim, they get basketball, I mean, all kinds of awesome activities. Yeah, it is a great day. Uh, we rent out the rec center, like we own it for the day, and um, you just get to have a fun time there with your friends, and swim, and tennis, and, um, and we feed you, and, and all that great stuff. But 
going to eighth grade day also uh, takes responsibility. So as we are starting to get into the nice warm weather, we need to start thinking about the decisions that we are making here at school. So just kind of reiterate some things that we need to start thinking about. Guys, you're doing a pretty good job with your phones. We do appreciate that. Just a reminder, hey, first time we do let you pick it up. Second time it is a parent pickup. Third time, it is a parent pickup in an after-school detention, and the fourth time is a Saturday school, and we have not had a fifth time, so uh, we would have to create something for that, but... Uh, let's not. Let's not get a fifth time. Let's not have a fifth Put time. Put it away. So uh, definitely, um, we know you have your cell phones with you. Uh, that's not a problem. What we don't want to see is them out. Um, also, getting the class on time. That is incredibly important. You guys have been in this building long enough to know exactly where your classes are, about how long it is between bells, and the importance of getting to class on time. So as we are thinking about eighth grade day and you are thinking about the choices that you make, we do not take all students to eighth grade day. So if you are having chronic referrals, you find yourself getting suspended, those things will have you not attend eighth grade day at the end of May. So no, 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 it's never too early to start thinking about eighth grade day. Right, right, so yeah. Eighth grade day is supposed to be a celebration. It is. It's a and great uh, celebration, yeah. especially for our eighth graders as, yep. uh, as it's their last days here in the new building. Yep. Um, with that being said, let's move into some people that are making some great decisions. Mm -hmm. And one of them that I have is Addison Rapp. And this reads... Addison can always make me laugh when I'm having a bad day. She's always there for me and is the most kind and caring person I know. She was my first friend, and I hope that she can be a friend for the rest of my life. And actually, Addison has two, oh. so uh, definitely a big deal when you're pulling out two. It says, she is one of the nicest and funniest people I know. She's always there for me. She makes my day fun. She's positive, encouraging, and includes everyone. And uh, we've talked about the importance of that part right there, including others, and just making sure people feel included. I had Addison as a seventh grader. Oh, yeah. So I will echo those things. Addison, keep it up. Nice work. Fantastic. Uh, my character card winner this week is Lily McCullough. And uh, Lily, it says here that you are, a, you are special to me because she is one of my best friends. Lily is so sweet and funny. She always can cheer me up when I'm going through anything. I can always tell her the things that are going on with my life. It goes on, Lily. You are gorgeous and smart and such an amazing person overall. Wow, that's a great write-up. Yeah, nice, Lily. Keep it up. Uh, for Lily and for Addison, we have a large two-topping pizza from Papa John's, and uh, we're going to go visit your Flex Bells and congratulate you for uh, what you're doing here at the junior high. We certainly appreciate it. Where are we going this week? This week, I believe I will be going to Miss Reedy. And, and I am going to Rutledge. Rutledge. Because we go to classrooms on Thursdays, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Wow, great work, students, and those are some wonderful acts of kindness. Way to treat others nicely. Well done. Next up, birthdays! Celebrating today. No one is listed as a leapling or a leap year baby. We had two born on February 28th and six born on March 1st. I wonder how many of the eight were born on the 29th and use alternative birthdays to celebrate every year versus every four. If that is you, we hope you have a wonderful day celebrating your special day every four years. Next. Hello, Sycamore Junior High! Today, the flight crew has a challenge for you. Get ready to showcase your incredible talent with our school-wide talent show. Yep, you heard that right. Flight crew's mission is to build a school environment where all students wake up inspired to learn, feel safe, and return home fulfilled at the end of the day. And we believe that each one of you possesses an incredible talent. So our challenge for you is create an amazing three-minute video, with, whether you're a musician, dancer, actor, artist, whatever you do, we want to see it. Submission deadline for the Google form that we will send you is March 4th, 2024 at 3.15 p.m. Then the deadline for the video, which is a Flipgrid video, will be March 11th, 2024 by 3.15. Next, joke, joke of, of the day. day. 
What do you call a freight train loaded with bubble gum? Hmm. I don't know. A choo choo train. Be the best extraordinary person you can be, Sycamore. Follow up PBIS expectations every day. Have a great day, Sycamore, and go waves! Are we not that memorized? Let's go. Let's go.